Security First Corp. Safety through knowledge. How do I become Apple certified? If you're eager to enhance your skills and become an expert in Apple products, you're in the right place. Let's break down the steps to become Apple certified. First, you need to decide which type of certification you're interested in. Apple offers a variety of certifications, each tailored to different roles and skills. For example, if you're interested in hardware repairs, the Apple Certified Macintosh Technician, ACMT certification is the way to go. To become an ACMT, you need to pass two specific exams, the Apple Service Fundamentals exam and the ACMT 2016 Mac Service Certification exam. These exams are available through Pearson View Testing Centers or Apple Authorized Training Centers. The ACMT certification covers the repair and diagnostics of all Macintosh desktops, portables, and servers, and it's a must-have if you want to perform warranted hardware repairs for an Apple authorized service provider. If you're more into software and media applications, you might be interested in the Apple Certified Pro certifications. These include certifications for Final Cut Pro, Logic Pro, and other professional applications. For instance, to become an Apple Certified Pro in Final Cut Pro KEX, you need to pass the Final Cut Pro X Level 1 exam, which is offered at Apple Authorized Training Centers and Prometric Testing Centers. For those who work in IT and system administration, there are certifications like the Apple Certified Support Professional, ACSP, and the Apple Certified System Administrator, ACSA. To earn the ACSP certification, you need to pass the Mac OS X Support Essentials exam which covers the installation, configuration, and troubleshooting of Mac OS X. Another important certification is the Apple Certified Media Administrator, A, which is designed for system administrators and technicians working with XSAN architecture. To become an AGMA, you need to pass three required exams, Mac OS X Server Essentials, XSAN 2 Administration, and Final Cut Server Level 1, plus one elective exam. All Apple certification exams are designed to test your in-depth knowledge and skills in specific areas. Once you've identified the certification you want, you can prepare for the exams through courses offered at Apple authorized training centers or by studying on your own. After passing the required exams, you'll receive your certification, which includes the right to use the applicable Apple certification signature or Apple digital badge. This not only validates your skills, but also enhances your career opportunities. Remember, certifications often require recertification to ensure you stay updated with the latest technologies. Apple provides clear guidelines on what is required to maintain your certification, so be sure to check those out as well. In summary, becoming Apple certified involves choosing the right certification path for your career goals, preparing for and passing the required exams, and maintaining your certification through any necessary recertification processes. This journey will not only boost your skills, but also give you a competitive edge in the job market. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.